The escort committee is proud to welcome Bill Haslam, the 49th governor of the state of Tennessee. Tonight, we're here to talk about the state of the state. The reality is that the state of our state is one of unique opportunity, an opportunity that we must not let go to waste. This opportunity is a result of a strengthening economy combined with the hard work and discipline of our departments, the conservative fiscal strategy employed by the General Assembly and our constitutional officers, and this administration. But I want you to hear this. The surplus didn't just suddenly materialize. Yes, the economy is better, but many of our surrounding states are struggling with how to make ends meet. Together, we worked hard to grow the economy in Tennessee, and today, more Tennesseans have a job than at any point in our state's history. Our savings account, what we call the rainy day fund, is two and a half times more than when we began. Last year, when the Comptroller's office went to the market to sell bonds, we received the lowest interest rate in our state's recorded history. When people talk about conservative government, that's it in a nutshell. We're using taxpayers' money like we would use our own. We're holding in the reins during good times so that we're prepared during the bad times. For all the services an effective state government can provide, we know that nothing takes the place of having a job. There have been 288,000 net new private sector jobs created in the last five years. Tennessee is at the forefront of innovation in public higher education. All of you have heard me talk about the drive to 55 our effort to make certain that 55% of our population has a degree or certificate by 2025. If you compare the income of someone with a degree or certificate to someone who doesn't have one, moving our population to 55% would mean $9 billion in additional income for Tennesseans. Our commitment to education continues in a big way tonight. This budget proposal includes the largest investment in K-12 education in Tennessee's history without a tax increase. What's important in all of this is that we're not investing in the same old public education system in Tennessee. We have raised our standards. We've linked teacher evaluations to student performance. We've expanded education options for children. We are showing historic progress and we can't back up. This is our opportunity. Let's bear down on what we can do together. Keeping Tennessee a state with a strong financial condition. Helping Tennessee to be the number one location in the Southeast for high quality jobs. And making certain that all Tennesseans, regardless of their circumstances, have an opportunity for a high quality education. For those whose lives might get scattered across a hillside during a tornado, for those who might get physical relief from a wheelchair that lets them experience the world in a whole new way. For the single parent looking to finish their college degree. For the third grader who's trying to go from learning to read to reading to learn. For that third grader's teacher who dedicates her life to giving students the, the tools to build their own lives. I have 1,070 more days with the honor of working in this building. I plan on using every single one of them to serve this state, sorry, <laughs> that we love and call home. Thank you for this honor, and may God continue to bless the greatest state in the land of the free.